hello programmers spider is back with one another video in previous video we have seen about how we can deploy our ec2 application to your custom domain so now i'm back with once again new chat gpt video so now today we are going to create one telegram bot that we can use chat gpt within telegram bot only so that can be useful if you want to use a chat gpt from your mobile application and even if it is a telegram bot then you can use it more or you can make it a public so any anyone can use it so you can create that bot so without wasting time let's get started so what we are going to do we are going to use a python flask application to manage our server of telegram bot secondly we are going to use ec2 to run our application by 24 by 7 because we can't run this in local if you want to make a real time bot right the third one is we are going to use ng rock now in last whatsapp bot video when i have created lots of people asked me ki why we are using ng rock even if we have the EC2 URL, we don't need to have ng rock. But the reason is, as of now, EC2 only give the HTTP URL. It will be not be HTTPS, right? So if you need a HTTPS, because lots of Twilio or maybe a Telegram, it required to have a HTTPS URL, okay? And for in EC2, if we are going to set up, we need to have all those certification of HTTPS. So instead of that, I'm using ng rock. So it will provide the HTTPS address to set up a webhook. Now we need to fourth step is we need to create a telegram bot from telegram application the five step is set up a webhook and six uh, you can use a telegram bot so i will show all of these things in video so without wasting time let's get started yeah so let me move book to pycharm so this is the code that i'm going to use so this open ai chat gpt code is very similar to a whatsapp i just make a copy paste so this is generate answer function that takes a question from user and it's using that text event c engine of chat gpt it's using the open ai library open ai key you need to provide so make sure you don't make your open ai key publicly don't worry i will delete this api key instantly after creating this video but you need to be more careful so i'm importing flask request response and request library okay so this this function you are already aware because i already explained in my previous video now what we need to do we need to set up a one route that accept get and post method if index if request dot method is post so this is the uh, this with this line it will accept the message from your user means your bot will make it the message from user it will get some chat id and incoming question incoming question it will forward to our uh, chat gpt function and chat gpt function will return the answer now we have two extra additional function one is a message parser second is a send message telegram so send message telegram is a function with this function help we can send message to our bot and bot will take the initiation of send message so this is the telegram api and the second function is a message parser so with this message parser it will find the chat id and message from the message because see if we are going to create a webhook or we are sending data to any bot we need to have a particular format so this is just a parsing your message and nothing else so we are just making a proper formatting even it will display all those messages in our terminal as well and at the end so this is very small kind of a python server code you need to have and at the end you just need to run this application in ec2 so host is equal to 000 so don't forget this step it is very necessary to run this flask app in ec2 debug is equal to false because it is a production port is equal to 5000 and make sure you need to provide a few api key the first one is your open ai api key and the second one is token so when you are going to create a telegram bot you will get a token so token as of now we are not adding okay now what we need to do is just copy this code and we need to just paste this uh, uh code into the ec2 so for that we need to have ec2 so what i can do is i'm going to ec2 console you need to just create a new ec2 so already i'm logging into the my aws account okay so i'm just giving this name as a telegram server i always like to have ubuntu so just select ubuntu here uh i'm more prepared with the 20.04 version of ubuntu yeah uh t2 micro as of now i'm using because it's a free tire one cpu one chip of memory uh key i think i have already one key which is crucial ec2 which i already used in last video as well uh now we need to set up vpc vpc will be default one uh this make those uh checks allow the http as an http traffic now click on edit we need to add the security group so we are going to add our 5000 port here because our flask application will run on 5000 port your source type should be 
anywhere because anyone can access your application so make sure this is a golden step that you need to follow storage you don't need to change anything uh, just launch this instance it will take hardly 10 to 15 seconds and now go to your instance console and just refresh it you will get this instance as a pending stage okay so just what we need to do now you need to have the downloaded api key so i already have that downloaded api key which is this okay so wait for a while just make the instance available as i can see uh, my ec2 is now available you can check on screen you just need to go in your ec2 just click on connect uh, copy this command if you are trying with your key first time you need to follow this first command which is ch mode uh, but I already have done this so just go to your where your key is located open terminal just paste this command and click on enter it will ask you to mix uh, just just write yes here and yes I am logging into the my EC2 uh, let me make zoom for you can see a better view yes I hope now I can I means everyone can see this even better now this uh, this is first time just making a login into the ec2 just make a sudo su uh, apt update because it will update all the necessary packages now we need to install a few things which is a flask open ai and other libraries which can be useful for our script to run okay it will take hardly two seconds okay now it is done uh, now we need to install a python 3 pip as well because in in ec2 we are not getting that pip python 3 okay it should be python 3 pip yeah okay so what i will do next is i will create a one folder i just wait for this installation finished yeah so what i've done i just created the folder i have you can see here i just created one folder which is this tail bot and i have created one python script that i just copied from my this cons uh, this pycharm and i have created one another requirement.txt so we need to install those requirement.txt first so what i need to do write a python 3 dash uh, m pip install dash r requirements.txt so in requirement.txt we have only uh, three packages which is flask open ai and request so we need to wait for installation done yeah it's done so now it's time to run our application so i'm just writing python 3 tailbot.py and now you can see it's running so let's check it's running or not so what you need to do uh, go to your ec2 console back uh, sorry not instance id you need to click on your public ipv4 address uh, write 5000 port here and you can see my application is visible now it's showing something went wrong the reason is that because i have created code like this if you are accessing this api from your browser you will get a written h1 which is something get wrong but it's 100 percent working there is no issue with our api okay so now we are done with our first initial step which is this key create a flask app set up ec2 so two, with two step we have done now we need to set up a ngrok account we need to have a https url from ngrok so you can create a google account login from your ngrok now what you need to do when you are going to ngrok dashboard you will find this command which is ngrok config add authentication so just copy this command and now make this terminal as a running uh, you just need to open a new tab okay of this one so what you can do go to the here and click on new window yeah so before uh, once again you need to make a sign in into your ec2 instance from second tab so in first tab our ec2 is running in second tab we are going to set up ngrok so make this as a sudo su now copy the command that of ngrok that we have already copied so just write paste here i think it will not work because we don't have ng rock so what you need to do first uh, python 3 dash m pip install png rock yeah when you are done with ng rock just write ng rock here so it will download the ng rock server and after the ng rock installation just copy this command and paste here yeah so now done 
so now what we need to do is we can see our application is running fine on so now what we need to do we just need to write here uh, let me make this screen also bigger now here what we need to write is ng rock http uh, flask application always runs on 5000 port so in this case we will write to 5000 and you will get seek your id is mentioned here and you will get some url here which is our application url so one is http and second is https we need to have our https url and you will get this you are about to visit site and click on this visit site okay so now our ec2 application and our boat uh, means our ng rock application is running now we need to set up a boat so uh, now i'm moving you to my phone screen okay so just give me a minute i need to connect my mobile to my system yeah okay so now i am available on my phone screen you can see this screen so i open telegram you just need to search for the boat father so yes this is the boat father now what you need to do you just need to mention hi here something like that uh, because this is not an initial conversation that's why it's showing something like this but you just you will get some start button there and you will get the first message like this so now you need to click on this you will get this message automatically so you just need to click on this new bot here you can see here uh, i'm just pointing this cursor you can see the new bot so click on new bot all right so it will ask you how you are going to call it so i would say uh, gpt l bot i will call this bot then it will tell you to create id for your bot okay so now i'm going to create a unique id so in this case i am just giving you the name which is ml hub gpt and it should be end with the boat yeah so now you can see here it is it is providing two things the first is a url of uh, your boat so that we can access later and this is the access token so access token you need to copy and this access token you need to uh, paste into your browser So what I am going to do is, I am just selecting all, copy this and for simplicity I am just pasting this code but again we need to paste in this EC2 but to remember this token I am just pasting this here and just once confirmed it looking proper or not. Now once again we need to go to our application and we need to change this. So write nano. Now come to your token area here. And write your token, whatever you have pasted. And control X, enter. Once again, run your application. Uh, once again, that port we need to add. And zero port HTTP 5000. So just check our application once again is running or not. Okay, I don't know why it's showing some error. Let me do it once again. Okay, yeah. Yeah, so my application is now running. So if uh, we are going to check the step, so we are done with the three and four step. Now we need to, the last important step is with set, set up telegram, bot, webhook. So for a webhook, I already provided this URL. So you need to follow this URL. So I'm just copying this. So what you need to do, just paste this. Now it is asking for two things. The first one is your bot token. So you need to copy your bot token from here and you need to paste this in your URL. So this URL you will get from my code. It's okay. So first task is done. Second is webhook URL of your application. So here we need to give our HTTPS URL, which is we got from ngrock. Just copy this and again, go to your PyCharm. Just erase this and URL you just need to provide and done. So now my URL is ready copy this url enter 
so what it will do it will create a web hook of, for your application and you will get the success message you can see okay true result true and description is web hook was set now you need to go back to your once again your phone screen uh, it is this and you can see here your link of your telegram bot you will get the start button to start it and now I'm showing you the something okay so whatever you are going to write you will get here welcome to my boat I'm just writing hi and you can see the message that I'm sending here I'm getting in my terminal of flask okay so now my chat GPT boat is activated and now I'm writing um, just one question which is write Python script for hello world it's just simple like chat gpt and you can see it's written now uh, rephrase resignation later you can use this chat gpt you can just write it like your chat gpt you can use for any of your information and this bot you can use so just let me see with example once two plus three question mark five and now guys you can see my telegram bot is one working fine 100 percent and you can use that okay now the next question is i'm just turning off my screen of bot and you can see all those things are coming and working fine okay but now this will not run a long time so what you need to do is you need to run this application as 24 by 7 you need to write a no up command once again you do the same thing python 3 and your application name which is a tail boat okay so it will run your python application as service and now you can close this ec2 instance till your application will be in running so now we need to make the same thing for our ec2 uh, okay so before ng rock i need to write uh, which is no hub okay and it's done so now my both services are running at 24 by 7 so now we need to have the ngrock url okay so what you just need to refresh this ngrock dashboard the url you will get it from here and this is the url endpoint just click on this button okay you can see now you got the url because in the terminal it was not showing you the url so once again now we need to set up our webhook because webhook was not set up for yeah so what you need to do again you just need to come to url url is equal to paste your url and now once again webhook is set up and you can make your changes to your telegram bot so let's see bot is running or not and you can see bot is working fine and now how you can close all those ec2 terminals let me show you just close all those ec2 terminals close this one as well i'm just writing one question what is stage maker let's see it's running or not and you can see it's running because of no hub command it will run for 24 by 7 and you can use this telegram bot for your usage you can for use for your personal use even you can uh, configure this bot according to your use case okay so don't forget to like and share this video and i hope that you like this video so before ending this one i just want to say if you want to delete this telegram bot again you need to go into that bot father application and from that you can delete this bot and you don't uh, and don't forget to delete the resources that you have created for in aws and ngro so without wasting time just like and share this video and don't forget to subscribe our machine learning of youtube channel so guys see you in the next one until that keep liking the video thanks for the listening bye